It says in price competition games with a first mover, compared to their price in the simultaneous move game, the first mover's price is, well, it's higher to induce the second mover to also charge a higher price. So what you want to remember from this is that in price competition, everybody wants there to be a first mover. It's better for everybody if one of them moves first compared to the simultaneous move game. But ultimately, everybody wants to be the second mover. The second mover has the advantage. So again, in this game, everybody wants there to be a first mover. Nobody wants to be the first mover, but the first mover is better than when they price simultaneously, of course. Simultaneously is when they're the worse off. They don't know what the other guy's gonna price, and they both end up pricing lower than they would have. So again, everybody wants there to be a first mover, and ultimately, everybody wants to be second mover. Let's take a look at the reaction function graph real quick to show uh, what's happening in a first mover game. Well, in a simultaneous move game, we know they, they cross here, where the reaction functions cross. In a first mover game, let's say A is the first mover, they're going to price a little higher. And then to find B's price, we go over to B's reaction function and down to find B's price. So again, B is better off because they can kind of undercut A's price. If you want to think about it, they can see A's move, they can see what A did, and they're the second mover, they have that advantage. B makes more profit. But A prefers there to be a first mover. So A is still happy compared to the simultaneous move game. That's what you want to take out of this because it's different from homogenous. In homogenous products, everybody wants to be first mover. There's no doubt about it. First mover has the advantage. And in differentiated products, everybody wants to be second mover, but they are just happy if there is a first mover compared to the simultaneous move game.